This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information for how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Poems by Gerard Manley Hopkins. Read by Linda Liu. Part 6. Poem 40. Carry in Comfort. Not. I'll not carry in comfort. Despair. Not feast on thee. Not untwixt, slack they may be, These last strands of man in me, Or most weary, cry I can no more, I can, can something, Hope, wish day come, Not choose not to be, But ah, but O oh, thou terrible, Why wouldst thou rude on me, Thy ring world, right foot rock, Lay a lion limb against me, Scan with darksome devouring eyes My bruised bones, And fan, O oh, in turns of tempest, Me heaped there, Me frantic to avoid thee and flee. Why, that my shaft might fly, My grain lie, Cheer and clear, nay, in all that toil, that coil, since seems I kiss the rod, hand rather, my heart low lapped strength, stole joy, would laugh, cheer, cheer whom though, the hero whose heaven handling flung me, foot trod me, or me that fought him. O oh, which one, is it each one, That night, that year of now done darkness, I wretch lay wrestling with my God, my God. Bone 41. No worst, there is none, Pitched past, pitch of grief. No worst, there is none, Pitched past pitch of grief, more pangs will, schooled at four pangs, wilder ring. Comforter, where, where is your comforting? Mary, mother of us, where is your relief? My cries heave, herds long, huddle in a main, a chief. Woe, world sorrow, on an age-old anvil, wince and sing, then lull, then leave off. Fury had shrieked, no lingering, let me be fell, force I must be brief. Oh, the mind, mind has mountains, cliffs of fall, frightful, sheer. No man fathomed. Hold them cheap, may who ne'er hung there. Nor does long our small durance deal with that steep or deep. Here, creep, wretch, under a comfort serves in a whirlwind. All life, death does end, and each day dies with sleep. Poem 42. Tom's Garland. Upon the Unemployed. Tom. Garlanded with squat and surly steel. Tom. Then Tom's fellow boot fellow. Piles pick by him. And rips out rock fire home forth. Sturdy dick. Tom hard at ease. Tom navy. He is all for his meal, sure. Sped now. Lo, be it. Lustily his low lot, Feel that ne'er need hunger, Tom. Tom seldom sick, Seldom our heart sore, That treads through pick proof, Thick thousands of thorns, Thoughts, swings through. Common wheel, little I reck, ho, Black level in, if all had bread. What, country is honor enough In all of us, Lordly head, 
with heaven's lights high hung round, or mother ground that mammocks mighty foot, but no way sped, nor mind, nor main strength, gold go garlanded with perilous, oh no, nor yet plod safe, shot sound, undenizened, beyond bound of earth's glory, earth's ease, all, no one, nowhere, in wide the world's wheel, rare gold, bold steel, bare in both, care, but share care, this by despair, bread hang dog dole, by rage man wolf, worse, and their packs infest the age. Poem 43 Harry Plowman Hard as hurdle arms, With a broth of goldish flu Breathed round, The rack of ribs, The scooped plank, Lank rope over thigh, Knee nave, And barrel shank, Head and foot, Shoulder and shank, by a gray eye's heat steered well one crew fall to stand at stress each limb's barrowy brawn his though that one were curded one were socked or sank sword or sank though as a beach bowl firm finds his as at a roll call rank and features in flesh what deed he each must do his sinew service where do he leans to it harry bends look back elbow and liquid waste in him all quail to the wallowing of the plows cheek crimsons curls wag across bridle in a wind lifted Wind laced, see as wind lily locks laced, churl's grace too, child of almond strength, how it hangs or hurls them, broad and bluff, hide his frowning feet lashed, raced with, along with, craig iron under, and cold furls, with a fountain's shining shot furls. Poem 44 To seem the stranger lies my lot, my life. To seem the stranger lies my lot, my life among strangers. Father and mother dear, brothers and sisters are in Christ not near. And he my peace, my parting, sword and strife. England whose honor, O oh, all my heart, woos, wife to my creating thought, would neither hear me, were I pleading, plead nor do I, I, weary of idol of being, but by where wars are rife. I am in Ireland now, now I am at a third remove, not but in all removes I can, Kind love, both give and get. Only what word wisest my heart breeds, Dark heaven's baffling ban, Bars or hell's spell thwarts, This to hoard unheard, Heard unheeded, Leaves me a lonely began. Poem 45 I wake and feel the fell of dark, not day. I wake and feel the fell of dark, not day. What hours, oh what black hours we have spent this night. What sights you, heart, saw, ways you went, and more must in yet longer lights delay. With witness I speak this, but where I say, hours I mean years, mean life, 
and my lament, his cries countless, cries like dead letters sent to dearest him that lives, alas, away. I am gall, I am heartburn, God's most deep decree, bitter would have me taste, my taste was me, bones built in me, flesh filled, blood brimmed the curse, self yeast of spirit, a dull though sours, I see the lost are like this, and their scorched be, as I am mine, their sweating selves, but worse. Poem 46 Patience, hard thing, the hard thing but to pray. Patience, hard thing, the hard thing but to pray, but bid for, patience is. Patience who asks, wants war, wants wounds, weary his times, his tasks, to do without, take tosses and obey. Rare patience roots in these, and these away, nowhere. Natural hearts ivy, patience mass, our ruins of wrecked past purpose. There she basks purple eyes, and seas of liquid leaves all day. We hear our hearts grate on themselves. It kills to bruise them dear, yet the rebellious wills of us we do bid God bend to him even so. And where is he who more and more distills delicious kindness? He is patient, patience fills his crisp combs, and that comes those ways we know. Poem 47 my own heart, let me have more, have pity on, let. My own heart, let me have more, have pity on, let me live to my sad self hereafter, kind, charitable, not live this tormented mind, with this tormented mind tormenting yet. I cast for comfort, I can no more get, by groping round my comfortless, then blind eyes in their dark, can day or thirst, can find thirst all in all, in all a world of wet. Soul, self, come, poor Jack, self, I do advise you, jaded, let be, call off thoughts a while elsewhere. Leave comfort, root room. Let joy sighs at God knows when to God knows what. Who smiles not wrong, see you. Unforeseen times, rather, as skies between pine mountains lights a lovely mile. Poem 48 That nature is a Heraclitian fire and of the comfort of the resurrection. Cloud puffball, torn tufts, tossed pillows flaunt forth, then Chevillon in air built thoroughfare. Heaven roisters in gay gangs they throng, they glitter in marches. Down rough cast, down dazzling whitewash, Wherever an elm arches, Shiva lights and shadow tackle, In long lashes, lace, plants, and pear. Delightfully the bright wind, Boisterous ropes, wrestles, Beats earth bare, Of yester tempest creases, In pool and rut peel parches. Squandering ooze to squeeze dough, crossed, dust, staunches, starches, squadroned mass and man marks,
tread mire, toil there, foot fretted in it, million fuel it, nature's bonfire burns on, but quench your bonniest, dearest to her, her clearest selvage spark, man, how fast his fire dimmed, his mark on mine is gone. Both are in an unfathomable, all is in an enormous dark drowned. O oh, pity and indignation, man shape that shone sheer off, this several a star. Death blots black out, nor mark is any of him at all so stark. But vastness blurs and time beats level. Enough, the resurrection, a heart's clarion, away griefs gasping, joyless days, dejection. Across my foundering deck shone a beacon, an eternal being, flesh fade and mortal trash fall to the residuary worm, world's wildfire, leave but ash, in a flash, at a trumpet crash, I am all at once what Christ is, since he was what I am, and this jack, joke, poor pot's herd, patch, matchwood, immortal diamond, is a mortal diamond. Poem 49 Saint Alphonsus Rodriguez Lay brother of the Society of Jesus Honors flashed off exploit, so we say, and those strokes once that gashed flesh or galled shield should dung that time now, trumpet now that field, and on the fighter, forge his glorious day. On Christ they do, and on the martyr may, but be the war within, the brand we wield unseen, the heroic breast not outward steeled. Earth hears no hurdle then from fiercest fray. Yet God that hews mountain and continent, earth all out, who with trickling increment, veins violets and tall trees, makes more and more, could crowd career with conquest, while there went those years and years by a world without event that in Mahor Alfonso watch the door. Poem 50 Thou art indeed just, Lord, if I contend. Hus tu scidem tu es, Domine, si disputem tecum, verum tamen justa loquara te, quare mia impiorum prosperatur in sera. Thou art indeed just, Lord, I contend with thee, but, sir, so what I plead is just. Why do sinners' ways prosper, and why must disappointment all I endeavor end? Wert thou my enemy, O thou my friend, how wouldst thou worse, I wonder, than thou dost defeat, thwart me? O the sots and thralls of lust, do in spare hours, more thrive than I that spend, sir, life upon thy cause. See, banks and breaks, now leave it how thick, laced they are again, with fretty shervil. Look, and fresh wind shakes them, birds build, but not I build, no, but strain times eunuch, and not breed one work that wakes. Mine, O thou Lord of life, send my roots rain. Poem 51 
to our B. The fine delight of the father's thought, the strong spur, live and lancing like the blue pipe flame, breeze once and, quench it faster than it came, leaves yet the mind a mother of a mortal song. Nine months she then, nay years, nine years she long within her wares, bears, cares, and molds the same. The widow of an insight lost she lives, with aim now known, and hand at work now never wrong. Sweet fire, the sire of muse, my soul needs this. I want the one rapture of an inspiration. Oh, then, if in my lagging lines you miss the roll, the rise, the carol, the creation, my winter world, that scarcely breathes that bliss now, yields you, with some sighs, our explanation. End of part six. End of poems 1876 to 1889. This recording is in the public domain.